Chapter 3 Confinement Ah, oh, this is so exciting. Hello there, here, and today we're going to continue playing your car the Cardinal Park case. Why do I almost say your Cardinal, Cardinal Park case? Okay, I'm... <laughs> I, I'm second. I'm second. I'm second. Saying words, okay. Uh, yes, we are at the final chapter for this one. It's not exactly final, but the final in development. This is uh, as far as as they've gone. Probably there will be probably there will be more later, which is I'm excited to see because this this game has been so amazing. The story it makes me really excited to know what is happening. What the hell? Like all the mysteries, all. The, the stuff, the characters, the weirdness, it's cool. And the darkness in Oliver's heart, which is just funny to see how edgy he is. Anyway, where was I? Yes, playing the game. Well, uh, let's continue. What was I doing? After the meeting farewell to Miss Greenwood with a French chick kiss from her. French chick kiss? What the hell is a French chick kiss? You return home to get started. Started on the heavy lifting for the case. Wait, wait, what the hell is a French chick kiss? Okay, I don't really understand, but it seems like a normal chick kiss, so. Hmm. About already provided you with a bunch of documents and photos to supplement your own information. You spend the entire day trying to figure stuff out from what exact chainsaw was used to attempt to sew Emma's arms. To attempt to. The type of body bag she must have been put in. In fact, you spend so much time on this stuff that you don't even realize that it's the next day. Hello. Hi. You're so preoccupied with convoluted case stuff that you don't notice your poor mother in the room. Ollie, this is concerning me greatly. Uh, mother, I wasn't expecting to see you in here. Which, which one are we in? I think... Okay, so selecting choices in chapter 2 affects chapter 3. And I'm pretty sure there's only two choices. Unless there's three choices, which makes sense because it's chapter 3. Like, no, you know, cool. Kinda cool because it ma matches. Uh. Yeah, I assume there's two. One where we follow mother, and the other where we resist mother. I think that will make a branch in this chapter 3, but I'm pretty sure we are in the one that we follow mother. Really now? You think I wouldn't check up on you for staying in here for 24 hours straight? You think I care about you that little? Mother, it really isn't anything like that at all. Well, clearly you do. Why else would you have no regard for your own well-being? You always managed yourself perfectly before. Have you stopped because I'm a bad mother? Mother, this case has nothing to do with you. I don't understand why you think this case is tearing us apart. Maybe this case has something to do with her. Maybe it is tearing you apart. I don't know. Well, isn't it? I know that you broke out of your of the house yesterday. I'm not as stupid as you think. But this isn't. This is the first time I've actually broken out. Are you that desperate to get away from me? I say that I'm desperate to solve this case. And why this case? That's why I don't understand. What about this case makes you prefer spending time on it over keeping your promise with me? You don't understand, mother. The victim was someone I knew. You know, one of your father's case was exactly like this one. Miss Barrett. Yes, it was. Remember how the perpetrator was never found, how your father spent so much time away from us for no reason? How much it hurt us? You're doing that to me right now, Oliver. You're obsessing over the dead so much that I might as well be a pebble to you, right? Would she love me more if I died? Hmm. This isn't the first time you thought. Mother isn't going to do anything to herself, is she? Uh, after a while, I must say that the mother is kind of a uh, toxic spectrum. That's what I, I, I know that. I, I don't know if the mother is the bad person or not. I don't exactly sure. I have suspicion, but toxic, yes. Very clingy into the toxic behavior of this. Which is bad, like just, oh, I, oh, I will, I will, would you prefer me dead or something like that? Like, you. Mother isn't going to do anything herself, is she? 
One of this day, Oliver. One of us is going to get hurt. And I think that at that rate that you're going to going right now, you're going to hurt yourself more than either of us could ever imagine. Her words loop over and over and over in the back of your mind. Something about them is off to you. Mother has never been this insistent on keeping you away from a case. For now, at least you disregard the strokes, brushing them off as irrelevant. Instead, you focus your mind on getting to the bottom of this case. Based on what I know so far, Emma was murdered before reaching Liberato University. There's still the phone number. And based on what Miss Greenwood said, Emma was probably on her way to class when she... So maybe I should start by searching the alleyway. It's the most secret place for a murder drug tour. Mm-hmm, number, huh? Moonbill is plus right now. Unless you want to rob the place. Six, nine. I mean, this is nice, but like... Phone number. That's the only number I've seen so far. Actually, this is for two. I wonder. Oh, only here. You've been sleeping so so long. All right then. Hmm. I'm trying to search if I can find any other clue, but I don't think so. Can we get rid of the cat now? Come and think of it. Maybe if I provide this cat with a box, it will get out of the way. Box? There's a box in here. Can we go home? Can we? Is that, is that a thing? A crowbar! At some point this was evidence for a case. Now this is a six chase each other around with this finding the end with red blood and shatter. <laughs> Take the crowbar, yes. That crowbar. Perfect for mourning the dead. Emma's address. Don't drop this. Drop this. Drop it. Drop, drop. Crowbar lets you reach higher, doesn't make you taller. I mean, if you put the crowbar on your legs and attach duct tapes to them and two crowbar at least, you can be taller. Get a box? Yes, you use the crowbar to push the box off the top shelf. Let me try that again. Get an empty box. Interesting. Crow. Will something have been different if we have the crowbar earlier? Ah, that's interesting. Heck it, nothing right now. Alright, happy investigating. Ah, uh, yes, happily investigating the death of a friend. Yeah, I wonder if... Is the crowbar there the whole time? Like... Will something is will something be different if we... If we just walk through that door. Through that wall. Will something be different if we have the crowbar on some interactions? I don't know. You said the empty box down near the cat. Oh, oh, this is cute. Your cold heart melts upon seeing the cute cat sitting inside the box. Yes, indeed. Oh, I should have read what the box says. Interesting. We have snowman hats. You walk into the alleyway, hoping for some answers. 69. There might be something here. Too tall. Uh, you rapidly turn around and, yep, your world goes dark. Interesting development. You slowly drift back into con consciousness. Probably. You only think that because of the loving you hear and the musty odor that overwhelms your nostril. This is an interesting development. Immediately. Fuck this. This damn kid ever couldn't even put me somewhere out. Nice. The two people laugh like hyenas making you want to break out of your restraint and strangle them. Was that a typo? Was there somewhere? Is it like, a, a typo? I'm not really sure. Unless you can do such a thing and your ears are forced to listen to your stupid conversation. You know, you should have tied this guy a bit more. Wouldn't want him to whistle his way out. I'm not wasting you. Rope and a wimp, he probably not even gonna be able to get out of the little bit of room. How do you know he's a wimp? One, he's the detective kid. I don't think that he had much time for hitting the gym. Two, I brought him here for your kind information. I mean, my god, he weighed as much as my damn cat. 
Hell, when I saw him, I didn't think that it was the right person at first. The client said, tall, dark, and handsome, right? Client. Sure, the kid's tall and dark, but I say that he's more pretty than handsome. I'm not fucking pretty? Why the hell does everyone think I'm a pretty boy or whatever? So, what do we do with him? Do we beat him, stab him, burn him, feed him, bleach, and throw him into the Cardinal River like with the last bitch? We found you! Ah, oh, fuck, that shit was done to Emma. Are these bitch boys the murderers? Yes. Something really doesn't seem right with you. The client. They are the murderers, but someone ordered them to. You never used that many curse words in sentence unless you were cursing someone out. No, you don't ask the client, you didn't want him dead. Why can't we just settle the kid? Just dress him up as a girl and we'll be right rich. You know how much demand is there is for skinny goth chicks. <laughs> God damn it. Oh hell no, you idiots are gonna. Oh hell no, you fools aren't gonna take this skinny goth chick alive. You are the skinny goth chick. <laughs> Yep, something was really not right about you. Look, this guy look, this guy is paying a shit ton of money to do this right. If you fuck this up, they're gonna get the cops on us. Isn't that good that gonna implicate them? Like the cops find the payment details. You know there's an anonymous anon uh, something called anonymous mail, you know. That's why you're keeping the paid details. What? Then you're gonna take that pretty little lighter of yours and burn it if the cops get into us. What? Why? I get it. You got a hot for these clients. Can you blame me? You know, I like strawberry blondes. Strawberry blondes? Blondes, sir. Huh? And personally, I think that you also like it if you get her to join us. Ha, huh, yeah, right. You want me to get rid of this just so that your high school crush isn't implicated. And it makes it look better for us. If they find the pay details, they're gonna realize that we're mercenaries, then they'll inf investigate even further. Oh. Little do they realize that you, a detective, like a law enforcement, are listening to their entire damn conversation. You know, sometimes I don't even know I work with you, you're, du you're dumb as stone. Ha. Huh. You know you love it. <laughs> Aww. That's, that's nice. That, that's nice, despite the fact that you both are fucking murderers. Come on, man, let's go to bed. It's not like this kid is gonna go anywhere. The man leave you alone in the room. You said to wait a bit before finding out how you're gonna get out of this mess. Ah, oh, you fucking fools. This is the long loosest nose I've ever, ever, ever been tied up in. You fuck around with the ropes to try to get out. What did we miss? Damn it. It goes back. How many times we can fail? You fuck around more. I, I think this does nothing right. Does it do something? Ah, uh, one more time. Your arms come out of ropes easily once you wear them down. Ah, uh, no, my arms don't burn like hell. Ah, uh, no, my, my arms don't burn like hell. Now let me take this damn flesh shit off. Well, clearly something was done to you. Damn, it's fucking cold. Guess I'm not in the city anymore. This was suburban. How you came to consider this mystery, but it is correct. I say fucking sounds. God damn it, not this shit game. <laughs> oh my god, no. It's like the time I tried to pass a drug ring and they decided to give me a taste of their mats. Somehow you're not so far gone as to not be able to move a reason. So you'll probably be able to get out of here, hopefully. And the same kidnapper will keep the door open. I need lucky stuff. Oh, rats! Rats! <laughs> There's so many rats, I love them. I love this. Rats, come here! Come here, come here! Come here, come here! Let's play! Save time. You look through the toolbox and you find a screwdriver and a flashlight. Get a screwdriver and a flashlight. Press way to turn the flashlight on and off. Uh, what's that? Is that something on the floor? Can I, can I, if I, if only I stop running around, maybe I can click it. I'm, I'm moving too fast. Okay, get a paper clip. More paper clip? 
Interesting. Three paper clip. Let's see. Bye bye, darkness. Very very good for lock picking. Can help with lock picking screwdriver. Yes, screwdriver to screw the washing machine door. And said the washing machine fine. Oh, uh, why the fuck is there an empty uh, coffee cup in here? Got an empty coffee cup. I don't know. Maybe they drink coffee. Psych, no coffee for you. Paper clip. More paper clip. Interesting. Got a paper clip. Wait, what? Where did we get the paper clip from there? You begin to pick the lock. If you fail to do so, the paper clip will break and you have to try again with another one. So here we go. Oh! The door unlocks before your very eyes. Oh, maybe I should have tried to fail because. You know, stuff. Something is burning there. Oh, that was easy. Our grudge back stuff with rotting foot and dirt. Exactly where you belong. <laughs> wow, okay, this feels like a horror game actually. Someone should make a horror game like this. I will like shit my pants. Represent Maker game. You're pretty sure that there's a head inside here, but that's the list of your concerns now. Another fridge says, put the fucking place away, goddammit. You know, maybe you should put out this way before the damn often explodes. Or maybe I want to experience burning to crits. Maybe. You put some water in the coffee cup. Coffee cup. Get a coffee cup with water. Are you sure? That's electronic fire, no? Use the water from the coffee cup to put the fire out. You can set off on and in it is a key. Got a little key. You can see something bulging from one of the seats. You pick up a paint. Got a paint. A table. You could hide it under here. Hide? Under there? The TV is playing a movie called How to Hook Up with Your High School Sweetheart. God damn it. Fuck. A locked door. You're gonna need to snoop around with a search warrant to find the key. Ah, do I really need a search warrant if they kidnap me? Fuck. Uh -huh. Whoa, that looks weird. That looks hella weird. Oh, finally, bathroom! Hell yeah, can we flush the toilet? Please, something finally glimmers in the sink rain. Oh, hell no, don't look in the freaking toilet. No, no one's crazy enough to head stuff in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Maybe, maybe there is. You know how games work. You pick up a plate. You got a plate. What? Why do we need plates? Huh? Are we? Why are we cleaning the plates? I've got with water. A very, a very cute key. You should return this to the sink. Pepper spray, snowman hats. Uh, I forget. Coffee, coffee cup with water. Psych, no coffee for you. For the same, huh? Someone's coming. Hide? You felt your, to help yourself. Very gain. Oh god, this is actually cool. This is called mechanic. You're hidden now. You're able to see the kidnapper walk right by you. Thankfully, they don't see you. What are you gonna do? Sit on this right now? Y yeah. <laughs> Why not? The door unlocks before your very eyes. See?
This is not a thing. Someone's coming. Hide. Where? Oh, now you are all exploring the house, huh? You're here now. Thankfully, they don't see you. What if we get tough? I want to get tough soon. This is cool. I love it. You fucking piece of shits. I hope you all burn. Someone's coming. Hide. Can we hide here? Yeah, we can hide there. You ever see you can never walk right you. Thankfully, they don't see you. A small closet, perfect for your small lanky body to fit in. <laughs> this door is locked for some reason. You need an itty bitty key to open this. What? But we have a small key. Huh. Maybe we need a smaller key. Oh god, the speed. Put plate back in the sink. Put plate back in the sink. Put plate back in the sink. And oh, and would you look at that? Someone putting all this plate in the sink open up the lower cabinet. Huh? Look inside of the cabinet. Get drain clear and wrench. Damn it, I'm still like this in my breath hug. Well, if this dude tries to get out, let's make him do our housework. <laughs> What else can we do? Let's see. Uh huh. Maybe the axe? That's a. We have an axe in our inventory already. Do we need more axe? An axe takes to the system. If you get a clue, who could be chopping this here? You also did thing you have to pull an axe out. You find a match to get X out, throw your arms burn with pain security X. Get X. Yeah, so? Huh? Perfect party stuff, good for cleaning shit up. A very cute key. Good. These tools aren't cannibals. Empty. Huh? A very empty washing machine. So we have pipe wrench and drain cleaners. Okay. Yeah. Can can we do something about it? the X on the board and bars. This X will break the planks. And it's sweet, sweet freedom. Judging by how stupid this kind of person are, you think that you're in the clear. And it's locked. Oh, looks like the guys have some luck leak of kidnapper common sense. Locked door. You're gonna need to strip around. Uh, let's see. So we have the small key now. Oh, we have- oh, the drain cleaner, yeah. You pour the drain cleaner in the sink. Then you open the cabinets and use the wrench to get a shiny thing. Get an itty bitty key. <laughs> oh, I see. Small and itty bitty key. Little key, very cute key. A pointlessly small key. We have- why do we have, like, multiple kind of keys? Perfect for any stuff. We already read that, right? Oh, we are- we are out of drain cleaner. God damn it. I wonder if there's like a more smaller key or a more bigger key. You have another opportunity key and in it you find a yearbook. Maybe you can find this guy's little crush. You you sure you want to? Somehow the woman's meant to be the client, right? 
You flip through your book with shaky arms. Not because you are cold, but because the amount of dopamine in your system is too much for, for your miserable self. Adalia hollows. Their realization is so brief that Adalia almost miss it. Adalia and Amelia hollows? There's two of you. You sniff through more of the pages in your drug, drug stupor. Adalia, Adalia hollows the only name with all of that lovey dovey stuff written around you. That's mother's name. Yeah, like I said, you sure you want to know the truth? You can continue looking through the drawer, and you come across an earring and exact match to the one that mother's loves. You put the earring into your trouser pocket. God's mother earring. You also find your trench coat Carlos, Carlos stuff in the drawer. And you also find one more goodie. Get payment details. Now if you weren't wrecked and tried to get the hell out of here, you'd be analyzing every little bit of this information. Unfortunately, that's not a luxury you can afford right now. Even while drag, it's ingrained in your mind that you must focus on the task at hand. And in this case, it's getting the hell out of here. Matter, huh? But why? I love that the clue has been, like, at the beginning, from the beginning of the game, like, the very first be few beginning of the game, there has been clues. You walk outside, finally free from the musty house, pulling your trench coat over your shoulder while doing so, and into frigid air. We have a small key. Even though the drugs are wearing off, you are in a good state to be walking home in this cold. Not to mention that while you were caring about being in the suburbs, you had no clue what neighborhood you were in. Definitely not yours. As you walk, your vision goes dark. And just like that, it's the second fight of the day. The next time you wake up, thankfully you are not tied up in any way, shape, or form. You're wrapped up in a thick blanket, almost like how people wrap kittens up. A police car? Excuse me. Even with the blanket wrapped around you, your body is still coated in icy numbness. Ah, uh, you're up. Okay, we're there, to be honest. Where are you taking me? Back to your home. Do you wonder how the officer found you? It's a mess so the officer had read your mind since he responds to it. We got a tip from someone that you, Mr. Cypress, hadn't returned home. She sounded worried sick for you. Like when she called, she went straight to screaming about how you weren't home. She told us that you were probably doing drugs at a friend's house, scaring her because you were in hope. Why did you tell her that? The drugs? No, it's wrong. I didn't. I figured that you'd deny that. You're shit at concealing the fact, though. Your eyes are criminally whack. You feel the pace of the breathing increase. I mean, looking at you, if I'm being honest, I think you're Audi or something, that we would have had to tell your poor mother. I didn't. You're so exhausted that you can fight against what the officer was saying. Heck, it sounds almost like you're in your voice, which you are already not so keen on fighting. Your know, friends are fine, by the way. We questioned them about oh, shit, about everything, and they just said that they had no clue about your. You Audi. They began firing one of them seems very scared when hearing that you might have been dead. You don't feel like you're in your body right now. It's just like when you realize that Emma is dead, you feel like you're watching some awful comically twisted movies. It is like awful comically twisted movies. You wonder if you even experienced any of that. You wonder if you even saw the year. The rest of the drive is dead silent. Yeah, relate. You left alone to ponder after. Mother, she knows where the kidnappers stay. And all of that stuff I found. Wait, I should have the earrings and the baby dozen in pockets. When I return home, I need to look at all of that. And I also need to know. What does mother have to do with this case? This is the end of chapter. Would you like to save here? Heck yeah. What? At least we know that's smarter. Thank you for playing chapter 1 to 3 of the Cardinal Park games. You can come back here once chapter 4 Reputation is published. Until next time, dear reader. Until next time, indeed. We still have the phone number going on. And not only that, in this chapter itself, we still have. The little key. Mother's earring. 
Episode Blue Shield is written on it. Silence. What do we use the key for? Key, key, is something locked in here? The only thing I can think of is this right here. But we cannot interact with that anyway. Is there a secret that we need? Yep, and the thing of all the weird implication of the stuff. Interesting. Oh yeah, we still haven't get found yet. We need to get found, so we'll do that. I guess we'll do that later because we are still do going to do this stuff later on. How many paper clips can we get? We oh, we can keep doing this from one spot. Wait, what if there's invincible paper clips? No? That's such a weird bug. How many paper clips do we have? Six. Let's see. Anyway, uh, let's go back to chapter two, shall we? A little bit of rewind of time. And this time we choose to resist matter. Ooh, and also, we get a chance to maybe read the box. Yeah. Perfect for a cat. That's good. Okay, so we are back at this point. Let's, well, <laughs> I'm struggling to get there. We got the X. I finally using our brain instead of doing some to be confronted shit. Spam Q to absolutely destroy the. What? I'm breaking away the fence when it breaks, leading the way for you. Excuse me? Escaping overrated. Swimming around without search warrant is better. You need to figure out what's going on here and how these men are evolving in MS death. You also need to figure out who this elusive client is. Uh. Okay. That, that works. Hello? <laughs> Little key. Hello? Can we can we please grab the plate? Okay. The plate it's it's very hard to grab, that's all I could say here right now. Oh thank goodness. That's a plate. I wonder if I'm missing because I'm so fast. No, you cannot summon a demon at the bathroom sink. <laughs> Why would you even do that now? You have a rather pressing issue at hand right now. Maybe you can, who knows? Maybe the little key was for this door. Uh, we just like skip the dialogue because we don't see it. There's nothing in this room, though. Is there? Sewing kit? This could come in handy somewhere. I know it. I know I can grab that. I was just too fucking fast. Holy shit, that's annoying as fuck. And out falls a key. Master key. I really patch code, there's no rip where the key used to be. Wait, can we not unlock the door before? He could escape now. Escaping is operated. Wait, what? So we escape before without the key? Is it is it but okay.
Maybe I can find this little guy. Crash. Some hot woman is a big time, right? Is it Greenwood on the left side? Oh, and I'm surprised they haven't chased us yet. And this similar to... Maybe this is the resist? Maybe... Did I pick the resist mother option instead before? Because I don't see really see any difference. Okay, I'm gonna explore really quickly and if there's nothing different, I will tell you immediately. Okay, you know what? Maybe there's a little different here. This time you're more angry because you tell me to stop working on that, which I can escape. No, no, I want to explain to me why the hell the padlock is on the door. Mother, I have to work on this case. This is my line of work. I don't care about your line of work if it means to s you stop caring about me. How is working on this case going to stop me from loving you? It already is. How are you unable to see that I do love you? Sh show me that you love me. Ch when you already shown her that you love that, that love so many times, when is it going to be enough for her? Drop this case and leave it for someone else to handle. I'm the only dedicated person and willing to work in this case, mother. If I don't do it, who will? Shh. Ch excuse, excuse. Where is the dumb obsessed with this case? What about this case that makes you spending time on, uh, on it over keeping your promise with me? You don't understand, mother. The victim was someone I knew. You know, one of your father's case. Okay, so it's the same thing. You're doing that to, to me right now, Oliver. You're obsessing over that. So much that I might as well be a pebble to you, right? Mm hmm. I don't know if this is the same dialogue, actually. Probably not. Oh, yeah, this part, finally. So, what if we don't hide? We're just gonna stand here for a few seconds. Struggling around. Can we hide outside? Is it considering hiding? Am I going outside? Yeah? I'm hiding here. No, I'm sh- uh, What the hell? Hey, what are you doing out? I'm sure you can never catch this you red-handed. And they beat the ever-loving shit out of you. <laughs> As a light bites from your body, you can hear the person speaking. They're speaking with a woman over the phone. Look, ma'am, we have a bit of a problem. What? What did you fools do this time? Well, uh, you see the kid try to escape and I cough him. Done. Hey, do you want him alive or dead? Hey, 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 I'm sorry. Hey, hey. You hear an early family sigh from the other side of the phone. You know, I don't even know I trust you guys. You fucked this up the last time we did this too. Did yourself have fun without me. But wait. Weeks pass over your death. With your death, Emma case goes cold since every other detective in your agency is too eager to solve the mayor cheating scandal. And solve victim Emma Greenwood, and so the perpetrator of this crime is never brought to justice. Ending one cold case. Interesting. Anyway, I, I think there's no different, right? Unless there is, and at the, at the end, huh? Uh-huh. I don't think they're... Uh-huh. Yeah, there's no difference, right? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, there's nothing different. So the difference is only at the beginning. So yourself. Okay. Anyway, yes. That's the end of Cardinal Park case right now. So at least we know who the culprit is now. I wonder how they will expand it with chapter 4, 5, and 6 since we already know who the killer is. So I think we will work on a different case all of a sudden. But it's cool. It's really cool. Uh, either way, yes, let's do a final review of the game, like I've said in the first in the first chapter back then. Uh, the game is really interesting, I really love the story and the characters. The story is really interesting, it makes me keep wanting to play to know what what's happening right now. And yeah, the character Oliver is just so likeable, you know. He's just a little... depressed... not depressed. It's just a little... goth... It's just a little goth uh, chick, you know. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> and yeah, the, like I, I, I love the sound design as well. It's really cool. The title screen music fit perfectly to the game. The whole sound design with the walking and everything, I just love it. Uh, the way the UI and UI looks, UI and then UI, UI then UX looks, it feels amazing. Uh, it's just. Sometimes level design is kind of confusing and maybe buggy, I don't know. Like that time, I, I think I haven't had the master key and yet I can unlock the door or time at a cafe where I need to walk on a specific spot, which I didn't realize at all, in order to trigger an event. But uh, those are just minor flaws and I would rather consider them bugs than any bugs. Uh, what else can I say with this game? The art already looks great. The story, I I'm amazed that this is actually developed in 3 weeks, all 3 chapters, I'm not really sure if it's all 3, but it's amazing. Anyway, yes, that's all for the game for now. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in the next part. I can't believe that they killed Emma so fast, like, I'm so sad, dude. There's still the phone number thing, where can we get the phone number? Oh yeah, a uh, few things that I forget to mention is, like, the box. There are a few bugs over here and there. Minor bugs, but sometimes they are confusing as well, and they are kind of mixing with the level design. Like, I'm not really sure if it's a bug or a feature. You know, like a bunch of snowmen, like a bunch of... What do you call it? Uh... Hairpin? Yeah, something like that. I I'm not really sure if those are features or bugs. Like, are, are they intended to spawn, like, infinitely? Or are they intended to spawn only a few times? There's also... Yeah, a few bugs as you can have already seen the effort itself. But it's just minor bugs and it doesn't undermine the game. There's also a few minor typos, but that's also fine. Anyway, yes, that's all for the Cardinal Park case. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video or next chapter of Cardinal Park case. Later. So, yeah. Bye bye.